How's it? Today is Friday. It's March 19th. And I'm doing sort of openers? I, I don't know, actually. Uh, I'm doing three attempts at 90 and 120 for the snatch and the clean and jerk, respectively. I don't actually know what my openers are. I just realized that. But I'm wearing my singlet today. And I thought it was going to be really cold in the gym this morning. It it wasn't too bad. It was like 50 something. So I actually took my shirt off and um, my, my jacket off doing my warm ups like I normally do when I have my singlet on. Um, but yeah, the movements felt sort of strange today. I felt like I was strong, but it didn't feel like I could execute super well. It felt like I could hit those positions that I wanted to, but not quickly. And um, you'll see a little bit later in the in the video what I'm talking about. But <clears throat> I was having some some trouble with um, one right around 85 for the snatch, uh, and then the 90s were s sort of inconsistent. But everything leading up to that was was pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with with how the way that I was moving before those lifts, which is good and bad. You know, it it says that I know how to move with lighter weights, uh, which is good, but it's bad to say that I don't know how to move with heavier weights because it's a competition, right? So I'm trying to lift the heaviest weight I can. But um, yeah, it could have been a, a function of of being early in the morning. I woke up at five this morning. Um, I was really, really, really hungry, so I actually ate something, which I normally don't do before I go to the gym on Fridays, or, or Wednesdays and Fridays in the morning, but I sort of was forced to eat something this morning because I just felt, I felt very, very, very weak and very famished. Um, in any case, I made it to the gym, and I felt a lot better as far as hunger go hunger went, but like... I, I don't know about like the mental capacity to like sort of move well with intention and everything, you know. So like all of these warm ups were really good right here. So 70, this is 70, right? So I believe I do one power, uh, one full. Um, but it's just not like that's really good right there for me. It's it's not consistent at the heavier weights. Uh, one note about my warm ups is that. I did 80 here for a double. This first one was really good, and the second one, I, I wasn't sure why I decided to go for two. Um, normally, I, I don't do 80 for two, ever. No matter how heavy I'm going, 80 for two is, if I'm doing 80 for two, it's it's for my top set. But um, I think it, this might have affected something. I, I don't think it should have affected too much, but that was definitely not as, as good positionally as the first rep at, at 80. Um, it's actually 85 looked okay. I said that it was kind of kind of wonky earlier. This is my first attempt at 90. Um, I caught that at very, very near rock bottom. And um, it kind of just... You see that little bounce there. I, I don't know. It just felt really off. This is what I was talking about earlier. I think this one was the best one. I, I don't actually remember. Yeah, this one was the best one. But for different reasons, I didn't like that one as well. Like, sort of, I pushed my hips through at extension. But, yeah. One more note about my, my warm-ups today. These are probably going to be the specific warm-ups I do take. So it's going to be like 20... So actually, I could do 20 for a couple sets. So I could do like 20, 20, 20, then 40, 40, 50, 60, 70. Um, 70 is going to be that shift bef between power and full. Like I'll do 60, probably power, power, and then full. And then 70 will be one power, one full. And then 80 will be one full. Um, again, I did mention that I did two here, and I don't know why. But I'll do, do one full here. And then depending on what my openers are, um, take it a little bit differently from there. Um, similar thing with the clean and jerks. I don't know how, how much time I'm going to have in between 
the snatch and the clean and jerk because this this meat is like a round robin which I've never experienced before so I might actually have to slow down my warm ups quite a bit but today I went um, 60, 80, 100, 10 and then 20 um, again I don't know what my, my openers are going to be That this is the first rep right here um, of me using my belt since getting my tattoo and I was a little worried about it I did feel some some kind of weird pressures but it turned out to be okay. This 110 clean was really solid, um, which is kind of surprising to me because everything after this is just like utter garbage. Um, I, I haven't cleaned 120 for five weeks, so that type of thing happened for the first two reps where I started getting on my shoulders when my elbows don't come around quick enough. Um, and that was very upsetting to me because I know that I'm better than that and I'm stronger than that. I also missed that jerk, which I could probably attribute to not being accustomed to the weight itself at 120. Again, it's been five weeks or so since having this on the front rack for the jerk. So I, I do feel like I have enough power, I have strength to push uh, the, the dip and drive, but I just am really out of practice with this um, high intensity. Uh, that clean was not good. It was probably the best one, but it's still not good. Um, and then the jerk was a little bit better, I think. Yeah, all in all, I'm just kind of worried about how the, the intensity is going to hit at the top weights. Um, but one good thing about this that has been brought to light is that I actually don't feel pain in my upper back. Um, like almost at all you know two weeks ago trying to power clean was just god awful and so um, I'm very happy for that uh, I did talk with Brad a little bit about what, what he thinks could be the issue and he, he gave me a, a few stretches to do and, and I did them last night and I'm not sure if it's helping that um, or if that's helping me my upper back or not but I'm assuming it can't hurt so here are my pause front squats with the belt. Last week I did 125 for three doubles with no belt. Um, with some amount of back pain, upper back pain. Uh, today I did three sets of two at 130 with the belt with no back pain whatsoever. Even though some of the positions do look like they're going to they're, um, incite some, some pain. Like right here. Um, that was completely fine. I'm really happy with the way that my, my hips are actually working. Like I don't push my knees in as much as I normally, or as I have done in the past. Um, and it, it, I feel like it's a sort of a building block for me to to, to build upon. You know, Right there was, a, was an example of a grinder that were, normally I would have probably pushed my hips in a little bit. Um, here's me doing some pull-ups. My tattoo feels fine. Uh, skin stretching a little bit, you know. It's normal. Uh, it, it's gonna eventually stretch, you know. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident about that aspect of, of my life, I guess. Uh, and I finished off with some GHD sit-ups. This workout was a lot longer than I, I thought it was gonna be. I think I took a little bit uh, too long in between my warm-up sets for the clean jerk. The snatches were about three minutes each. The clean jerk's probably closer to four or five, which I don't I don't think is good. I'll fix that for next week. But yeah, I'm three weeks out. I think actually tomorrow makes two weeks out. So yeah, thank you for watching. Shoots.